78 here we are at Steve's farm today because you can see the little mark right there at Valdale there is some new special horses and we are going to go meet them and buy a couple so let's go these horses if you didn't see the video of them they are Jorvik wild horses but they don't change color like the magical horses, like Solus I'm riding right now, or Dorcha. They just have one coat, and but they are so fluffy. Like, I don't know how, like, how is a horse this fluffy? They're so cute. All right, let's go down the path to Valdale. So... In the update, it said there is three horses at Valdale, and you can pick those up if you are level nine. You will not have to build a bunch of reputation to get them though. They cost 975 star coins each, and there are four different colors. And there's also going to be one horse in Fort Pinta that they will move to Valdale eventually, I'm sure. Uh, so, yeah. The Fort Pinto one also is not level 9. You can get that one right off the bat at level 1. And that one costs the same amount as the other ones. Again, no reputation needed. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. So they should be with the rest of the horses sold in Valdale. Like the Tinkers and all that stuff. Or Irish Cobbs. So, I am so excited to meet these new horses. They're going to be so amazing. Wait, am I going the right direction? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. So, if you saw the video, these horses have a special ability and a special gait. Basically, they can lay down, and also they have a special gait they can do. That is super cool. Alright, let's go see these brand new horses. I think I want to buy either two or three, I don't know. Oh, here they are, up here. Everybody is around them, because everybody wants one. So... There's a Palomino one. And, I mean, look at this. Oh, and they tolerate cold, too. Cool. So, look at this Palomino. Ah. Oh. In ancient times, before humans stepped foot on Jorvik, a wild and primeval horse owned the lands. They thrived untamed in the wilderness, energized by the abundance of Pandoric energy. This horse today is known as the Jorvik Wild. Unlike feral horses who run freely, this breed has never been domesticated and bred by humans. They are creatures of, wild, of the wild, alert to danger, and ready to defend their herd from threats. Despite being an herbivore, the Yervi blah, blah, herbivore, the Yervic wild is an alpha of the wilderness. The Pandorian energy that courses through their blood causes other animals of the forest to treat them with reverence. The druids of old wrote that there exists on Yervic no creature or human so brave as the Yervic wild. The Orvik Wild's ways of sho socializing are different from most. As observant creatures, they are highly attentive, attentive to the aura of a person. If you are lucky enough to bond with the Orvik Wild, you will discover that they are social creatures who flourish when surrounded by friends of all species and sizes. The unusually thick coat of a Orvik Wild defends them from the elements. Their air tufts are not only adorable, but help the Orvik to hear from great distances, amplifying the subtle, subtle sounds of the forest. While Yorvik Wilds more commonly appear in their natural colors like dappled Palomino, Blue Roan, and Bay, they can fairly rarely possess manes of glowing blue or fiery orange. These unnatural colors are a result of li living in an area of heightened magical energy. One does not break a Yorvik Wild horse. The horse chooses their rider. When you bond with them, it is a mutual exchange of trust. Do you have what it takes to befriend the Yorvik Wild? So this is the Palomino. Oh gosh. Ah! Oh my goodness. Okay. Then, over here, we have a brown one with white markings all over. Then, over here, 
we have a this one is one of the ones that has the magical colored mane and tail and then those are the three that are here and we'll check out the Fort Pinto one so I think here we're going to pick up the Palomino and the blue the gray one so let's see um I'm thinking she would be a candy something I don't know why but she just looks like a candy something Ooh, candy blossom <gasps> that's an adorable name okay we're going with candy blossom all right so we have the palomino and we're going to check out and get the gray one okay oh these people have the new one some people over here have the new ones all right so here's the gray one Ooh. Ooh, maybe Cloud? I think we're gonna call her Cloud something. Let's see. Cloud. Cloud, Cloud. Cloud Champion? Ooh, that sounds pretty good. Cloud Comet? Cloud Dancer? Ooh, I like Cloud Dancer. We're going with Cloud Dancer. Okay. So now that we have those two horses, we are going to check out the one at Fort Pinta. All right, let's go check out the one at Fort Pinta. Oh goodness, I my horse just went through the floor basically. That was weird. Okay, let's head to Fort Pinta to see the one that has been released there. Oh my gosh, who am I kidding? I need to get the brown one. I told myself, you've got to save your star coins for the Halloween update. But here I am right now going to buy the other horse and I'm just gonna collect all of them. Cause I mean, they're so adorable. How can I leave them behind? I mean, seriously, what was I thinking? I'm gonna be so poor, but what does it matter when you have four new beautiful fluffy horses? Okay. I think it needs to be chocolate something. Is that a is that a choice? Chocolate? Oh yes it is. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do chocolate something. Let's see. Chocolate. Chocolate um chocolate galaxy. Okay, yes, that's adorable. Just waiting for this random thing to load. Then we're gonna go to Fort Pinta and get the other horse. Okay. Goodbye, star coins. <laughs> why why couldn't I jump over that? Why that was weird. It's like it glitched and wouldn't let me jump. Hello? Hello? Why aren't you letting me jump? Okay. Oh, now it's working. Okay. Now I can jump. That was weird. Alright, let's head to Fort Pinta and <laughs> destroy my star coins. Wow, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm so excited to meet my new horses. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna be not gonna have enough money at all to buy the Halloween horses, but it'll be okay because at least I'll have some awesome fluffy horses. Okay, so Oh here it is right here. This is the black one. And it is so pretty. I think this one has to be night something. Uh, wait, I think I missed the N ones. No. Where are the... Oh, there we are. Ah! 
All right, we're just gonna name it something else because I can't find night. Let's see. Um. Let's see. What of these ones do I like? We're gonna go, ooh, Jewel. I'm gonna, no, not Jelly, Jewel. <laughs> All right, Jewel. Jewel Guardian. Ooh, that sounds cool. We're going with Jewel Guardian. All right. Let's go back to my home stable. 4,000 star coins poor, but still. Okay. You'll notice I changed where my stable was. I don't know why, I just decided to do that randomly. Okay. Here we are. Let's find my four new horses. Okay. I'm gonna take all the tack off Crystal Aura and put her in her stall. Okay. Do that. Take off this. And I want my horseshoes. Okay, there we go. Now let's go meet our new horses. Oh gosh, where's the door? I can't see. Okay. Oh my gosh, okay. Here we go. Now we should be able to fit out the door without getting stuck. Okay, here is Jewel Guardian. Wow, okay. This horse is so pretty. Okay. So it says that if you press shift, wait, no, we're gonna go out to a paddock. Okay, so it says if you press shift while your horse is standing still, it will lay down. Oh. Look at this. It's so cool. Look. Okay, so then it has a special gate. So if you press shift while your horse. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. No. Look at that. Look at how cool this is. Look at its gate. Okay, this is so cool. So this horse, as you can see, hat is black and on her belly, you can see that she has white and then her hooves, she kind of has this marking around them that is white as well. The inside of her ears and those cute little furry tips are also white and she has this white marking around her eyes. Wait, how did her, she get her horse to do that? Was I not doing the gate before? No, I don't think I was. Wait, how do I get it to do its special gate? Is this it? Is this it? How do I... Wait. It said press shift while you're asking your horse to go faster. Wrong. No. How do I make it do its special gate? Okay, we'll figure this out later. Let's check out the other horses. Okay, let's put her away. Uh, 
All right, let's see, where are the other ones? There's Diamond Dreamer. Here's my Rowari, my Zoni. So they're over here somewhere. Oh, here's Chocolate Galaxy. Why can't I open the stall door? Uh-oh, wait. Chocolate Galaxy, I wanna ride you. Oh, there we go. Okay. So this is Chocolate Galaxy. She's brown. She's got a white mane and tail. Ooh, and if you... Yeah, that's, she's so pretty. She's got white legs and a white belly. Just ki kind of like Jewel Guardian. So let's go outside. And let's see if we can get her to do the special gate. Because for some reason, I couldn't get Jewel Guardian to do it. Okay, let's try this. If we go forward. Is she doing it? What? I mean, they do have a really cool looking trot. Cause I mean, look at that. That's really pretty. But I just can't, I just can't get her to do the special gate. Okay, let's see. Wait, okay. W shift. No. Wait, okay. What are we doing wrong? W shift. It says, um. Can you guys let me know in the comments below what I'm doing wrong and why can't I can't get these horses to do their special gate? <laughs> Alright, let's go check out the other ones. So we just checked out Chocolate Galaxy and Jewel Guardian. So my other new horses should be maybe in these two stalls back here. Okay, here is Cloud Dancer. This is the only one that has a magical looking mane. So she has gray dapples all over her. These amazing, beautiful blue highlights. She has this kind of ombre black and white legs. And they are so pretty, oh my gosh. Like seriously, I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this much cuteness. Like these horses are adorable. They also put so much detail into them, like you can see the fur all over her. You can see all the individual hairs on her mane and tail. It's it's so amazing how much detail they put into these horses. Oops. This is Candy Blossom. And she is so pretty. So pretty. And she kind of has the same marking that Cloud Dancer does except Palomino, obviously. And then she does not have a magical mane or tail. She has a white mane and tail. And they are all so pretty. And I, the coolest thing about them is that they can lay down. And also they have a special gait, but I can't get them to do it. So. Like, seriously, look at this. You can just kind of, like, lay there and have them... It's so cute. It's adorable. Anyway, guys, that is it for this video. These new magical horses are so amazing. And definitely pick these up because they are so cool. And let me know in the comments what I'm doing wrong. How do I get these horses to do their gait? Because... I feel like I was doing everything right. So guys, um, guess what? I figured out how to make her do the uh, gate. Yay, I know I already did my outro for the video, but I figured out how to make them do their special gate. So yay. Anyway, you guys, now thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.